Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm putting new holiday makeup to the test. I have the Givenchy Loose Setting Powder, new Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette, Marc Jacobs, some Byredo, a lot of really fun things here, and I will of course be sharing my thoughts along the way as I get ready for the day. But if it's your first time here, welcome, I'm so happy you found me. This is our pink sparkly bubble on YouTube where we talk about luxury beauty, fragrance, fashion, everything glam. So if that sounds good to you, join our community by subscribing, and don't forget to hit the notification bell. We're starting with eyes today, so I've already prepped my eyelids using this Makeup by Mario Master Eye Prep and Set in the shade medium. I really like this because it has two different cream eyeshadow primers as well as a translucent powder to set so it's all in one product. And today I'm using this Marc Jacobs Cherific eyeshadow palette. This is part of the holiday collection and it's my very first Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palette. I've used it a couple times off camera just sort of playing around with it and so far I really like it so I'm gonna try to recreate one of the looks I've already done. I really like the mint exterior packaging and the cherry motif. I think it's really cute. I picked up the entire Marc Jacobs holiday collection, so I do have the other pieces, but since I have another highlighter and lipstick to try today, I'm gonna save that video for another time. For now, I picked up my Refer 16 fluffy brush. I'm going into the shade Delicious, and this is going in the crease. This eyeshadow is the perfect transition shade and I will tell you guys the first time I tried this palette it's a good thing it was off camera because it was very up and down. In the beginning I really liked it and then about halfway through the look I w had given up. I was convinced that I just needed to stop doing my makeup, put it back in the box and immediately return to Sephora. That's where I purchased and then by the time I finished the makeup look it had all come together and I was really happy with it overall. And I love the quality of the eyeshadows. They blend really nicely. I think it was just playing around with these shades for the first time. It didn't go as I had expected. It turned out in the end, but it was a bit tricky. Now I have a flat shader brush and I'm going into this matte berry shade right here. This is called Extra. And this is going all over the lid. I really like how smooth and opaque that eyeshadow is. The first time I saw photos of this palette, I really wanted it because I thought the shade was going to be more of a true red, a cherry red. But it's not, it's a little bit more cranberry, which is nice for fall and for holiday. It's just not what I expected it to be and maybe that's why I struggled a little bit the first time. It reminds me a lot of the Chanel Fall Collection. With a blank refer 15 brush, I'm just going to soften the crease. Refer is having a big sale going on. I think it's already started. I will link them down below. I know they have an additional discount on their concept store as well as individual brushes. I really like the 13, 14, 15, and 16. Those eyeshadow brushes are some of my favorite. So if I had to recommend anything, it would be those. And I will list them down below as well, right next to the link so you can see, in case anybody's interested. These four eyeshadow brushes right here, these are the ones that I am constantly using, and it is 13, 14, 15, and 16. With the same flat shader brush, I'm picking up this shade right here. This is Cherries. This is the one shade in the palette that I don't want to say it's disappointing, but it's kind of sheer, so you don't get as much sparkle and impact as you might think. It would apply really nicely with the fingers, but I found that it works really great when you wet the brush. So I'm just going to use this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. This is going on the lid right on top of the mat, up to the crease. I picked up my Ruffer 14 brush and I dipped back into Extra. Same brush, I'm dipping into this last shade right here. This is the shade on top. It's kind of a deep burgundy brown. And this is going in the outer V for dimension.
With my original fluffy brush and the light brown eyeshadow, I'm blending on top of the crease to make sure everything is nice and soft. And then the very last step for the top of the eyes, I am going in with my finger and I'm picking up Decadent, this first really pretty sparkly shade. And I'm going to pop that right on the center inner lid. This is such a pretty color. This makes me think of the holidays. I just cleaned up my under eyes. I didn't have a ton of fallout, a very small amount, but enough that if I just left it there, it could smear and create shadows underneath my makeup. So I got rid of that. Now I'm going to prime. I'm using the Farsali Liquid Glass Primer. This has become one of my favorites. It does give radiance, but it also just grips your foundation. So I like to rub that in, starting from the center, blending out. And as it dries down, it starts to feel a little bit sticky. It gives you a lot of glow, which is nice. For foundation, I'm using the Chanel Ultra Lit Tint, and I'm going to pump in a small amount of this Bare Minerals Bare Pro Glow Liquid Bronzer in the shade Warmth because I did sunless tan this week. And this Beige 30 is a little bit too light when I've sunless tanned. Today I'm using the Marc Jacobs Face One Brush and I'm just gonna mix that together on the back of my hand and apply directly to the face. I think my new Lay Beige foundation is going to replace Ultra Lit Tint, but I have a little bit left of that bottle and it's getting pretty old, so I just wanna go through it, make sure I don't waste any. To conceal, I'm going in with the Clay de Peau Radiant Corrector for Eyes. I use the shade Ivory. I know the stick concealer from Clay de Peau gets all the hype, but I actually prefer the pen. You don't get as much coverage, it's pretty sheer. But I just think it looks a little bit more natural, it's not really thick. The stick concealer is great too, but you just have to mix it with an eye serum or something to thin it out a little bit. It does oxidize, so the ivory is not going to look quite this bright for very long. Something I've learned. Okay, so finally we have arrived at another new holiday product. I'm going to set my concealer using this new loose powder from Givenchy. It says limited edition matte finish and enhanced radiance loose powder 4-in-1 Harmony. Shade 3, Wall Rosé. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's very beautiful. And what's cool about these Givenchy loose powder caps is that I could take this off and put it on any other Givenchy powder. So you don't have to worry about throwing away the cap. You can keep its beauty and then just replace your bottom half. I love a light pink setting powder because it gives the skin that healthy, rosy, very ethereal glow. So I was sold as soon as I saw this came with the pink powder inside. Since I already have the basic white, I think they call it translucent, but it's just a white powder. According to the diagram, you just place your puff inside, flip it over, and then you have a little powder on the puff in the shape of the Givenchy logo. It's very cute. I'm just gonna use my brush. It's been a while since I've used my translucent powder from Givenchy. I love that powder as well. It is so finely milled. It truly is so silky. You can't see it at all. It disappears into the skin. There's maybe a hint. The teeny tiniest hint of radiance. For the most part, it's matte. I think it's really beautiful. 
This I give a 10 out of 10. I really like that powder, but now I need to bronze. I need to warm up my skin. So I'm going in with the Sephora 59 Pro Powder Brush and I'm using the Gucci bronzer. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but I was hoping, I'm still hoping that Gucci comes out with something for holiday besides the lipsticks that I did see on Selfridges. I didn't wanna pay shipping from Selfridges. I think you can get some sort of annual deal if you pay a one-time fee of 30 or $40, but I just don't spend that much money at Selfridges. They do seem to get a lot of the holiday launches first, so maybe it is worth it. <laughs> For blush, I'm hoping one of these Byredo products works. I saved the bag. It looks like a little lunch box. I have not opened this. It arrived in a larger box, but then I wanted to open this on camera. So I haven't seen what they look like. Oh, a couple other things in there. You fragrance samples, very smart of them. By Rado Ball da Freak. Oh, I like that one. I think that's one of my favorites. And then Lil Fleur. Cute. I ordered two products. This is the larger box. Here is the lipstick in the shade Earth Dust. It looks like a really pretty nudie pink. I played it safe the first time around. I figure I might as well get a shade that I know I'm going to wear. That way I can see what the formula's like. But they do have a really nice shade selection of these lipsticks. And this little guy is the color stick. I picked up Flower Play. They show it on the eyes, the lips, the cheeks, all over the face. They have a multitude of colors, a lot of bold jewel tones. They have turquoise, purple, gold. Some of them have shimmer and then others are just kind of glossy. So I was very curious. Again, I played it safe. I picked up a light pink because I did think maybe I can use that as a cream cheek. I'm not sure how I feel about them. They're creative, but I think it's almost too creative. Maybe I'm just old and boring, but I look at the photos on the website and I just can't help but think to myself, Nobody is going to wear that. Nobody is going to take that turquoise stick and rub it all over their eyes that way. You know, give us makeup that's wearable. I don't know who they had in mind. I don't think they had their consumer in mind when they created these. And I did see photos of the eyeshadow palettes that should be coming up soon. I signed up for the waitlist. They look really pretty. Very interesting, some unique color combinations. So I think there is a way to be creative, do something different. Of course, the packaging of all of these products is unique, but still create a product that is user-friendly to the people who are purchasing. Case in point, the card that came with my order. This is for the universal product, the color stick, and it tells the story, the inspiration. There's a quote here from the creator. It says, neither Ben or I wanted makeup that was too conformist or precious. We wanted to create a universal product that could be worn in many ways. I do not want to tell people how to wear cosmetics, but to inspire them. The packaging is very pretty. It's kind of sleek. Doesn't feel incredibly heavy. Doesn't feel cheap either. Has a magnetic cap. I'll have to check the price. I remember thinking the lipsticks were expensive, but I don't think the color sticks are that expensive. I hope they're not because this is pretty small. It's the size of a lip balm. Oh, and that's as far as it goes. That's it. I wonder what this is going to be like. Let's see. This light pink is pretty sheer. I know it's supposed to be multi-use, but that is nothing but a light pink lip balm. I don't think it has enough pigment to be used on the cheek. Now I'm wondering if it's just this color or if all of the shades are lip balms and sheer because that would not give you that effect. It's giving me glass skin. It's not giving me pigment like a blush. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. I'm annoyed with myself. I would not have intentionally purchased a light pink lip balm, but I think that's what I got. That's what I ended up with. This is not going to do anything for my cheeks or eyes. Yeah, it's not bad, it's just not good. I think it was still around $35. I don't like it. It's very basic, it's a balm, it's a lip balm. 
Maybe I just picked up the wrong shade. Maybe a deeper shade or one of the bold colors, but I don't want blue, I don't want purple, I don't want turquoise. I was trying to choose a shade that I thought I would actually use, something wearable. I just pulled up the Byredo website and it looks like the color sticks are only $30, so it's not as bad as I thought. I think I just chose the wrong shade. When I look at Flower Play, which is now sold out by the way, it's hard to believe, the model is very fair and you can barely see it on her cheek, so of course you're not gonna see it on mine. I think in the future maybe this deep fuchsia, sick pink, even that, I don't understand. This one's not really on the cheeks either. I'm ready to move on, but I do want a little color on my cheeks, so I'm gonna go in quickly with the Laura Mercier Peach Blush. I may not be thrilled with it as a cream blush, but I am very grateful that it doesn't seem to interrupt makeup underneath. And maybe if you were going for a glass skin highlight, you could use that as your highlight and I think you would really love it. Today I'm not going to use the color stick as my highlight because instead I have the Dior Backstage Glow Face Palette in the shade Rose Gold. I am so excited. This is my first Dior Backstage purchase. And this was the shade and the product you guys said you were really interested in. It looks like four different shades on the back, three different finishes. We have Sheer Gold Pearl, Metallic Gold Pink, Shimmer Rose, and Metallic Golden Peach at the bottom. Sheer, Shimmer, Metallic, Metallic. I'm gonna swatch. That does not look sheer. <laughs> that looks really bright actually. Setting the tone early, so this is the sheer highlight. Eww. I love this color right here. That's the shimmer, also really pretty. We have the pink metallic. And the peach metallic. None of them look sheer. They all kind of look like they have the same finish. I don't know why one is sheer, one's metallic, one's shimmer. They all look basically the same, just different shades. I've been using my pink Dior highlighter from spring constantly, so you've seen that a lot. I want to do something different, so I'm going to go into this bottom rose gold shade. I think this is the peach. Doesn't have a mirror. <laughs> That's the one bad thing about it. Ooh, really pretty. And I'm sure it doesn't help that I had that tacky bomb underneath, so it's just going to grab anything I put on top. Oh, but it's so pretty. On the other side, I'm gonna try this shade right here. No, that is not sheer at all. I like it though, it's a very pretty Pale gold. So now the face is done, it's time to finish the eyes. I picked up a little precision brush and I'm going into the light brown right here and I'm going to run that beneath the lower lash line. I switched over for a pencil brush, I think this will be faster. Using the same pencil brush, I'm going to very softly dip into extra. And I'm going to buff that beneath the lower lash line, concentrating on the outside and blending into the brown. I wanna tie in the berry shades from the top of the eye, but I don't want it to be one giant berry explosion. So I'm just slowly building that up on the outside. Going back with my precision brush, I'm picking up the pink metallic highlighter, and this is going in the inner corner of the eye. That's really pretty. I'm back with my eyes and complexion done, so the last step is lips. It's time to finally unbox this Byredo Earth Dust Lipstick. Ah! 
It's a very strong magnet. It feels amazing. This feels like a luxury weighted lipstick. I like the color too. This looks really nice. And I like the fact that it came in a little protective bag. I haven't seen photos of this, so I didn't realize. I like the color a lot and it feels really good. Kind of tastes sweet. <laughs> I know you're not supposed to eat lipstick, but it has a little bit of a sweetness. I think the lip is really pretty. I think it matches the eye look really nicely. Since we went berry on the eyes, I knew I wanted a pretty neutral lip. And it's not too light. It's not too brown. It's not too pink. It's actually not really pinky at all. It reminds me a bit of the Marc Jacobs No Angel lipstick. It's more of a neutral brown based nude. Or I guess Timeless Beige from Chanel. It's pretty similar to that. The type of nude lip that you can throw on with everything and it's just flattering. You, know, you can wear it with any outfit. It doesn't matter what you have going on on the eyes. You can wear it with very minimal makeup, with a smoky eye, with a dramatic makeup which is why I never mind purchasing more nude lipsticks. I try not to purchase new lipsticks as a rule because I have so many, but nudes I'm constantly wearing. I'll go through it eventually. It might take me a while, but at least I know I'm gonna get use out of it. I love this color and it feels really nourishing. The makeup look is done. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using this Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. It truly is ultra fine, so you can spray away, which I love. It smells so nice. We're now completely finished, so this is my makeup look for the day, and I'm really happy with the way it turned out overall. But let's do a quick recap of all of these new holiday products, because there were some hits and misses, starting with this eyeshadow palette from Marc Jacobs. I really like this palette. I really like these eyeshadows. It's kind of inspired me to check out more eyeshadow palettes from Marc Jacobs since this is my first one. I think the shadows blend really nicely. Everything goes on really smooth. I think the sparkly shades are pretty. And it's a relatively decent price point. I think this was $49. But I do love this holiday packaging. I have a lot of pinky, berry, purpley eyeshadow palettes now because that seems to be the trend this year so if you aren't drawn to these colors I think that is completely understandable even if you like the exterior packaging if you're not going to use these this could probably be an easy skip even though you do have these first four shades right here that don't have a berry tone so I think this is very daytime and then this is very evening special occasion. I feel like they always have a great sale going on on the website. They definitely always have brushes on sale, but even the makeup too, it's always on sale. So it's worth checking into Marc Jacobs Beauty. This powder, the setting powder from Givenchy is beautiful. I love this packaging. It is very glam, very holiday, but I also just really like the powder itself is really nice. The light pink hue helps give a healthy glow. It's very brightening on the skin, which I love, and it doesn't look dry and dusty. It's one of those things about loose powder. There are some powders that you can just see it sitting on the skin. You know, it doesn't quite melt. This powder is so soft and silky, you can never see it on the skin. The moment you apply it, your makeup just looks perfectly set. You kind of look airbrushed and angelic but you never see the powder, so it's really beautiful. I'm happy I picked that up. This Dior palette, the Face Glow, Glow Face Palette in Rose Gold, I love it. It's beautiful. Highlighter is always beautiful, so it's kind of difficult to judge. Did I need this palette? Absolutely not. I'm still happy I picked it up simply because it's new and kind of fresh. I do like the idea of a highlighting palette, even if I have too many highlighters as it is. This is really beautiful. It's really the only one that stood out to me. I think there's a deeper bronze shade, so if you have a deeper skin tone, that I'm sure would be beautiful. And then there's the yellow gold palette, which 
I just know I would not grab. And then we have the Byredo makeup. A hit and a miss. I love this lipstick. I would highly recommend the lipsticks. It feels weighted. It feels like luxury. It looks like a very modern sculpture that you would see somewhere. The color is beautiful, earth dust. I'm happy with the shade and they have a really nice range. They have some lighter colors, some medium pinks, and they also have some red, some oranges. So there is definitely something there. If you're interested in new lipsticks, I would check these out. I like the fact that it came with the little bag. Reminds me of the Hermes lipsticks. Little details. This color stick I'm not really thrilled with. I think this is my fault. I didn't read the description accurately. I thought it would be more of a cream cheek and it turns out I don't think any of them really work on the cheek. It's more of that glossy glass skin highlight. When I was looking at the photos, even the deeper pinks, they didn't have it applied to the cheek or at least if they did, you could not see it. But it looks so intense on the eyes and it looks so intense on the lips. I did think that even though I chose light pink, it would show up. And I applied this on my lips actually before I applied the lipstick just to see how it felt. It's okay. It's not a great lip balm. You know, it, it didn't blow me away as a lip balm. So I'm a bit disappointed. $30 down the drain. I'm going to see if maybe I can replace it. If I can pick up a different color or just return it all together. Now that it's used, that might not be the case. I hate eating $30 like that because I just know I will never use this. I'm not a huge fan of the color stick in general. I don't really get it. I suppose it's fun and creative, but the color has to show up first of all. And second of all, I don't think the people who are spending that kind of money on luxury beauty really are asking for something like this. That's just my opinion though, so let me know what you think down below. So that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you found it helpful to see some of this holiday makeup in action. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I want to hear from you guys. Sound off down below in the comments section. We will keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything on my face down below in the description box that's there for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.